I'm back. What is going on guys? Hope you are good. Welcome back to the channel and yes, I am back. Now, firstly, I am sorry because I did lie to you. When I started doing these videos for the photo shoot prep, I told you I was going to be doing one every single week, but that just hasn't happened. I know, I know, I've let you down, I've let everybody else down, but most importantly, I've let myself down. But now I promise you, I am back for good. So whatever I said, whatever I did, I didn't mean it. I, no, I'm not gonna go into that. But I am back and there is gonna be a slight change of plan now going forwards through the rest of this photo shoot prep that I am gonna be documenting for you guys to help you keep up to date and see exactly what this process looks like, how it works, and eventually how it all comes together. And there's some pretty exciting news I wanna share with you on that topic as well. But firstly guys, I am sorry. I am sorry that I didn't keep up to doing videos every single week, but I do have a pretty good reason. We started a podcast. So myself and my colleague Jake decided to start a podcast together and I'll be honest with you, I just massively underestimated how much time that was going to take up with the filming, the editing, the publishing, everything like that. And it just completely took over for the last month whilst we were getting it up and running. But if you are interested, there are currently six episodes up on YouTube and Spotify of the brand new podcast, which we have called Fish and a Rice Cake, which is all our fitness rants and lessons that we've picked up over the years. Stuff we love, stuff we hate in the fitness industry, how we work with clients and typically how we help people get results. So if you want to go check that out, just look on the channel and you'll see the first six episodes are up on there already. And not only that, we have our recent group photo shoot so we took a ton of our guys down to a private studio they've been dieting for ages to get into the best shape of their life and we took them through the photo shoot experience all together with a big day and a big celebration this along with a couple of other events through the last month have just meant that i have been completely away from this normal setup from all my equipment and not being able to record these videos for you guys so a huge huge apology but like i said we are now back and there is some very exciting news on that front that i'm going to give you in just a second but just so that you know the diet as of now has not stopped we're currently 20 weeks out from the photo shoot so we've still got loads and loads of time to bring you loads of content around this whole process and actually these next 20 weeks are going to be when we see all the change happen over the past four weeks that i've been away i've still been dieting i've still been training i've still been doing my cardio i've still been doing steps we are currently sitting around eight kilos down from that start position and we've probably got at least another eight if not 10 11 kilos to go before we're going to be getting towards that photo shoot level condition that we want so there is still tons and tons to bring you but wait didn't i mention some exciting news do you want to know what it is Okay, I'll let you in on the secret. But first, I'm gonna bring you up to speed on the last four to six weeks of what we've been doing with my diet, my nutrition, and my steps, and how I'm currently looking. So let's take a look. So as you would expect, over the last four to six weeks, food has been gradually coming down. Expenditure has been gradually coming up to try and help push fat loss and stay one step ahead of any plateau in fat or weight loss that we might have seen. So as I said, we started at 81 kilos. As of this morning, we're at 74 and a half kilos. So we're sitting about six and a half kilos down in total. So not the eight kilos I said earlier in the video, which means my maths is terrible, but it's a pretty good start. And this is where we're currently sitting as of this morning. So this is the current condition. And we can see when I compare this front picture here to when we started, you can see quite a bit of difference there. My midsection has started to come in already quite nicely, which typically for me is generally the last area that tends to get lean. I tend to find that my legs and my back get lean pretty quickly. And then my shoulders and my abs tend to be the last thing that comes in with my lower abs being the very, very, very last thing that won't get lean until I am literally lean everywhere else. But we are starting to see those changes and the leaner that I'm getting, the more changes we're seeing on literally a weekly basis, which is how this tends to work. From a food perspective then, we have pulled food down. So when I started this, my food was still well up at 450 grams of carbs a day and still sitting around 70 grams of fat a day. We are currently pulled down to 350 grams of carbs a day on a training day. We've only got 220 grams of carbs a day on a non-training day. 
and I've got 50 grams of fats on a training day and I've got 60 grams of fats on a non-training day. So you can see there's much less food on a non-training day. There's a little bit less need for it. I'm not training, I'm not doing as much. I don't have that same demand and I'm currently training four times a week still. Within those sessions, we have a push session, we have a pull session, we have a leg session, and then we have an upper body session. So we are prioritizing upper body to bring that out a little bit more. Cardio has been upped as well. So I started this process at 500 calories a week on the Stairmaster. I'm currently sitting at 1500 calories a week, which roughly equates to about two hours a week on the Stairmaster. So again, it's still nothing crazy. I'm not spending countless hours on the Stairmaster or anything like that. And the reason I like to use a Stairmaster is just because it burns calories quicker. I don't love doing it, but it gets the job done faster. And my steps are still at 10,000 a day. But to be honest with you, my average step count is around 12 to 14 thousand a day depending on how long I walk for dog for so we're hitting that target pretty easily and we've got loads of room to move it up as and when we need to so that is where we are currently sitting six and a half kilos down looking a lot leaner and we've still got 20 weeks left to go now for the exciting news so instead of doing one single video every single week I'm now going to be doing two videos a month. With the podcast and everything else going on, I don't have the time to edit a video every single month. And to be honest, I would much rather take two weeks to do one video, get more footage for you guys, make it a better video, make it more interesting, and have it be more enjoyable and more valuable for you. But the super exciting bit is that for one of those videos every single week, I am gonna get Ben on board, who is my videographer guy, who's gonna film the whole thing, which means we're gonna be able to film so much more out and about. We're gonna be able to film my workout so much better than me trying to set up a tripod in the corner of the gym without getting in anyone's way. It's gonna look more professional, and it's gonna be so much better to watch. So for one of the videos every single month, it is gonna be a full training video plus whatever topic I talk about that day or a day in the life or a food video that Ben is gonna be filming for us and editing. And then the second video of that month is gonna be a vlog style video like this where I can show you a little bit more of my day to day, of how I work, how I work with clients, my food, my meals, everything like that that's gonna give you a little bit more of a behind the scenes look of what is going on. So that's it. That is the plan going forward and I cannot wait to do it. The videos are gonna be going up a level, the content's gonna be going up a level and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So with that being said, I will see you in the next video.